Oh, big one, big fish. Big fish. What's going on guys? Good morning. I am back. It has been, it's been weeks. It has been blowing like 30 knots um, here in Miami for the last month or so. So, um, you know, it is nice to be back uh, out in the water. It is uh, gonna be a slicker today. I mean, you can already see it, how nice it is. We're in the bay now. You know, I've been feeding these baits for over two weeks. So these things better get me good. We got a bunch of pilchards in there. I've been feeding them uh, in the cage back at the house for the last couple weeks. Uh, so hopefully, you know, goal is to try to flatline some baits today, uh, put some bottom baits down, see what we can get into. On my way out here, I'm gonna run and see if I can try to grab some pilchards. Um, if I can, great. If not, uh, you know, we may try to scoop up some ballyhoo really quick, uh, depending upon how it is. I brought everything today. I got all the flat lines, no trollers, so all flat lines today. We're gonna get moving here, um, see if we can see some bait on the way out and uh, see what we can get into. So we'll see you guys out there. set up throw some uh, bottom lines out first so we can hit these wrecks and then uh, get our flat lines out there's some nice rips here so see what we can get into right. let's get our weights let's have everything all ready to go here except for yeah. bottom bait get a ballyhoo on this biatch all right. I like using the ballyhoo a little bit better on the bottom. Pilcher just pop off a lot. So hooking through the, the top of the mouth, out the nose like this. And then we're gonna give him a toss out until we hit the weight here. Then we hit the weight loop I put in the braid. All we're gonna do, hook that to there, drop it on down, and then he is going down. All right, let's set it and forget it, baby. Let's get a flat line out. There's a nice fatty culture here. And we are pick Mr. Pilcher. Pop him through the backbone up here. And then let him float out.
whole big one. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Whoo, baby. Big time. Oh god. Seriously? There we go. And he's off. Alright. Woo baby. Woo. What a fight. He's still there. Oh baby, it's a nice mutton. Nice mutton. Nice mutton snapper. Nice mutton snapper. Whoo baby. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right. Woo baby. Mutton. Woo I love mutton snapper, baby. That was a fight. Woo. There he is. Mutton snapper sandwiches, baby. Yeah. See that thing? Brain him. Yeah. All right, there you go, buddy. Let's get you on ice. Whew. Finally, man. Illegal mutton snapper today. Finally. Hey, it's not a big one. Baby. Ooh, baby. Little mahi, little mahi sandwich. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I don't even know if I got that on camera. Hot dams. It was a. That was super unexpected. So I threw a ballyhoo um, into the water when I was pulling up one of my bottom baits. All of a sudden I see this nice mahi come in and grab it in 140 feet of water. He took off 
uh, but then I started reeling in one of the the other baits um, to get it near where they they were at, and it was with a uh, a cow. So he came in and grabbed the cow, grabbed it. The bull took off. I tried to get him to, to see if he was hanging out, but he was gone. So um, <clears throat> all I had set up is I had two bottom lines uh, with ballyhoo, and then a bunch of flat lines um, with pilchards on here. You know, all hook, kind of hooked different ways through the nose, through the belly, all that kind of good stuff. But I was expecting a super slow day today. I mean, it kind of was. We had a couple good bites. I haven't seen a mahi in a year, so um, we have south winds today. It is like super flat calm. Um, that means summer is on the way. I'm super stoked because that is mahi season, baby. All right. So it is. About 11 o'clock, it is early. Um, I'm about to pull the lines in and head off and get in. But a successful day. Um, you know, if any of you guys wanna link up and get out here and do some fishing, let me know. Um, hit the comment box below. Uh, you know, throw, throw me a DM or, or hit me up on Instagram. Uh, let's try to link up and let's do some fishing. Um, so I am in the Miami Hallover area, but you know, I'm open than kind of going anywhere. So, um, yeah, but hit me up. Uh, we're going to head on in. We're going to fillet up these mahi probably tomorrow. Probably not going to do it today. And then, uh, you know, I don't know. We have mahi mutton snapper. I really like mutton snapper. I haven't had mahi in a while. So we may have back to back fish dishes, but I don't know. We'll see what I'm going to cook up for you guys. So, um, we are going to clean this drift up, uh, and then head on in and call it a day. So, um, successful day we were not planning I was not planning on getting a mahi um, I was hoping for tuna but just could not cannot get on the tuna I don't know why so maybe it's just the conditions I gotta come out when it's a little rougher but got all the blood up off my boat my freshwater pump was working my saltwater one wasn't working so I don't know all right see you guys in there So uh, it's the next day. I'm actually doing a little bit of work. Um, stuccoing. This stuff is a mess. Stuccoing in some windows. I'm trying to finish the uh, house. I've been doing um, all of the all of the fascia and stuff on the house, and then uh, I actually am going to redo the bathrooms um, and kitchen. So this is like garage has turned into a ton of boxes. Still have my fishing rods out uh, in the back. It's probably been like, you know, went fishing yesterday uh, and got that mahi uh, and got the button snapper. Um, but, you know, it's the weekend. Usually try not to go out on the weekend. It's crazy busy. So had the fish on ice. So we're going to flay these things up and then we're probably going to do maybe a little mutton snapper sandwich. I don't know, mahi. So stay tuned here. Um, these things have been sitting here in, in the cooler. Okay. Pull the plug. So we're gonna do the mahi first. I'm gonna take the skin off of this one, pull it off and then fillet him on both sides. And then the mutton snapper, probably gonna pull the skin off as well. But the mahi, uh, you can actually rip the skin off first and then the mutton snapper, um, I'm gonna actually have to slice the skin off. You can do it either way on the mahi, but I just like to pull it off, so.
Actually need a glove for this one. This stuff is mahi is so slippery. So I just grabbed the skin right here. You see it just pulls right out. Nice fillet. This is the row. This is all the seeds. There's one. Holy goodness gracious, this thing had a lot of row in it. to the cultures. Feeding them pilch. One other trick too, when you're done with your fillets, if you wash them in, if you wash them in fresh water, they're gonna get like all mushy. So I just fill a bucket up, with some salt water, and then I dip them in there real quick, and then I'll bag them right after. So just do it with all of them. That way they don't get all mushy and they stay nice and firm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are in the kitchen. Um, we're gonna do a little mahi sandwich today. Um, I'm grabbing mahi out of here. I've had it in a bag probably about a day. Um, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do actually a mahi wrap. These wraps, which are great, these are actually like low carb wraps, but actually taste really good. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of this mess of seasonings in here. There it is, there it is. Ooh, there's one you need in here. It's a little bit of this. It's a little bit of blackened mahi. Um, we're gonna heat it up. We're gonna put it in that pan right there. Get a little bit of oil in here. Then heat it up nice. And then we're gonna top these babies off. Probably a little tartar sauce, a little hot sauce in a little lettuce. So um, I'm gonna fillet up these mahi right here, get them cleaned up, get them cut up, and then we'll get them in the pan. Some nice fillets. Oh my. That's a lot of mahi. Let's cook it all. Look at those babies. Ooh, baby. You take the bones out. I haven't even taken the bones out yet. Looks good. Cutting out the, the bones here down the middle. And that bloodline. Wow, oh, this knife is not sharp at all. Horrific line. So I got all my bones right here. We're gonna feed those to the fish. And then I got my nice filet. Do the same thing on the other side here. Four.
All right, so I took all the, oh, there's a little bit of bloodline in there. I don't mind it. And then this is all of the middle, the bones. Oh, oh, oh. Not getting any. What we're gonna do is we're gonna feed these to the fish. So they have all a bunch of ah damn you. A bunch of pilchards in there. Ooh, there he goes, right in the cage. All right. All right, so for these, I'm gonna cut them up in nice chunks here. Like that. Same thing with those. All right, so we got all our mahi fillets. We're gonna use our creel. Stuff is the bomb. Especially if you like a little bit spicy. Right. Extra coat these babies. All right. Make sure that oil is nice and hot. Okay. We're just gonna lay these puppies right in there. Oops, that was a big piece. Yeah, I took it all at once. Ah, my hands are cut and burning. All right, well, these are burnt. Well, well, these are burned. These are cooking. We are going to grab a little bit of tartar sauce. Damn it! I thought I had lettuce. Just a second. Cut it up. Lettuce. Do a little sour cream, guacamole. No. Soon to do tartar. And a little bit of Mexican hot sauce. I'm just making this up as I go. Lettuce. Uh, some fish. the better. All right. Whew. <laughs> that hot sauce burning. Roll this baby up. Make a nice burrito. Pretty good. That Creole. It's fantastic. This could use a little bit of coleslaw. Oh. Oh, no.
fantastic, but whew, that was good. Oh, where's it at? I'm gonna eat the rest of my wrap. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. More fishing and boating videos on the way. Blue water light.